up, peeps? It's Great White Make It Happen again today with some more uh -huh. Minecraft Dungeons. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing well myself. I'm doing well myself. Thanks for asking. Yeah, things are well. Did I mention how well things are? They're really great. I'm pretty excited about today. We're going to jump back into some Minecraft Dungeons and get some, some more sweet loot. Do some more beating things up. I think our build's looking pretty good. I am pretty happy and excited about it. We got thundering on our our little sabers, which is gonna proc based on attack, not based on kills. So every time we strike, there's a three percent chance to to cast this uh, thundering, and uh, we're gonna have increased attack speed when we're under fifty percent health, and our attack speed's already super fast because we're using daggers now, and we have the death cap mushrooms. So now we have the potential to attack super fast. I'm excited for it. I'm a little bit nervous about our survivability, but you know what? It's something we're gonna have to deal with. So where are we headed today? Well, we did Desert Temple. It looks like the only place we have to go. Uh, Soggy Cave we can go to, but that's like an extra map. I wanna keep progressing through the game, you know? Oh, look, the minecarts move. That's nice. That's nice, I like that. Ooh, we're up to difficulty five, huh? That's the recommended power level, though, so let's go for it. Guys, I'm going to be straight with you. I'm nervous. I'm a nervous boy. It's true. There are rumblings in the mountains of the overworld. Whispered rumors say the Illagers are building something dreadful far beneath these ancient mines. Something of soot, metal, and flame. Only a hero such as yourself could brave the cavernous underground and uncover the truth. Oh, I'll uncover the truth. You better believe it. There's no way I don't uncover the truth. They they, that's, they don't call me Investigator White for, for nothing. They don't call me Inves Investigator White. That was, that was a lie. I just lied. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to. That redstone looks weird, huh? You can, like, run through it. Very strange. All right, let's test it out. Boom! Oh my God! Oh my God! Guys, you seeing this? Oh, uh, what? Holy cow! Do we just melt them? Oh, these fools don't stand a chance. This is amazing. Holy cow, that's just like a regular attack speed. That's not even with the death cap mushroom now. Well, I used it earlier. I did use the, ma the mushroom earlier. That's true. And I'm going to say mushroom a lot. I need everybody to know. I need to make sure it's 100% clear. I'm only saying mushroom because my hand has been forced. I still hate mushrooms more than anything in the world. But I'm going to say it because I don't have a choice. Oh, guys, are you seeing this? Holy cow. This is just craziness. We're just flying through these enemies. There's a chest. Oh, it's down there. I see. I thought it was this way. No, it's over here. Pickaxe. We got a pickaxe. And we're going to come get this chest. Should we just go all the way down this tunnel now? I mean, probably, right? I mean, we're halfway through already. Oh, we got another pickaxe. I don't really want a pickaxe. Guys, I really like fast attack speed. Because, like, the more I hit... Even if it's, like, lower damage, it doesn't matter if I don't do a lot of damage. The more I hit, the more chances I have to proc my thundering, which is really doing all the damage, you know? It's doing all the work. I'm just here to party. The thundering is taking care of the business, if you know what I mean. Alright, so we got this double TNT. I'm a little bit nervous. I have a, a long history of killing myself with TNT. All my friends that I play with on Twitch can attest to that. I did I did throw it too far, oh boy. And then I almost died from that creeper, wow. Was that, was that about to be our first death on camera? Oh man, that would have been bad. Here we go. Get guy, you dummies. Ooh, a chest! We haven't been using our new crossbow at all. We probably should, right? We should probably use it a little bit. Guys, uh, should we? I don't know. We, maybe we'll explore some of the corridors and stuff. The extra ones. It seems like we're going through the, the maps a little bit faster than we were now. Oh, we gotta free the villagers. There's three of them to free. Oh, boy. Let's use our shock powder. These range guys are going to cause us some trouble, I can tell already. Oh boy! Oh 
Oh man. Oh man. Things are getting wild. Did you see how bad that minecart hurt us? Oh man. Ooh, keep healing. Come here. I need you to die really quick. Okay, let's free this guy. Free at last. Oh no, that's not good. Okay, we've. I think we freed all of them. Good, good, good. Thank you. I'll take that. Ooh, pig! Give me the pig. Ooh, did you see that ricochet? Nice. We got Spelunker armor, huh? Spelunker armor gives us a pet bat. Holy cow! Oh, I cannot believe we haven't died yet. Ooh, probably jinxing myself a little bit. Oh, see when we use that. Oh, that mushroom just makes us attack so fast. It's wild. The only way this could get better is if we had some sweet. There's this cool uh, enchant you get later in the game called Radiance. And Radiance also fires off when you hit, when you hit an enemy. It's a 20% chance to create a healing circle around you so that you pretty much never die. It's very awesome. Oh no, we've got an invoker. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Ooh, yeah, we melted him, guys. Do you see how fast that went? That guy caused us a lot of trouble before, and now he's so easy. And this, don't forget, this is the recommended difficulty. We're not doing like a low difficulty to make it easy. Oh boy, this is awesome. Ooh, we're just hitting so hard. Do I have like, oh, I'm, oh I picked up a, a damage thing, I see. Oh, we have, oh, holy cow. We've got six enemies, or six villagers to free this time. Okay, there's two. Here's our third. Oh, oh boy. Oh wow. We gotta watch out for those minecarts. They hit too hard. If we don't see them, it's gonna, it's gonna be a bad time. <laughs> He's dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. All right, you're free. You're free. Go, for, go free. Run home. Go be with your family. Okay, I think we're good. I think we cleared this whole area. Heck yeah. Feels good, team. All right. Let's heal up. Let's take down this slime. Easy peasy. These skellies mean nothing to me. One shot in them. Ooh! Oh! Ooh, that was bad. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, God, creepers. They stress me out so much. I just, like, I clench up so hard when I see creepers. It's just, like, my hands get so so tight. Ooh! Oh. Are we... Is this the end already? Are we at the boss fight now? No way. Holy crap, that went fast. Guys, we really flew through this level. Oh my god, I'm not even, I'm not even using, oh holy, oh crap, oh crap. Oh no. We need to heal. Oh, oh no, we died! <laughs> Our first death! No! I can't believe we died! Oh, death cat mushroom. Oh, our, our potion was on cooldown. Why didn't I wait? Why didn't I wait to use the potion? No! Oh, I'm such a dummy. Our first death, guys. Oh, it feels bad. Oh, it feels so bad. Oh, man. I'm a sad boy now. So oh, well, like we still won. The Illagers are building a dreadful forge under the mountain. Oh, I can't believe we died. Oh, oh, I can't believe it. That's rough. Feels bad, man. We got 90% of mobs defeated, 118 healing, 3,000 damage taken, and one player down. That was, no, oh, you gotta throw it in my face like that game? That hurts. It feels bad. Oh, 
wow. That's the worst. All right, what do you got for me, chest? Firework arrow, huh? Let's take a look. What all are we working with here? I like our heal. I like the shock powder, too, actually. And I do love that death cap mushroom because it's so effective. But we should hold on to some of this stuff just so we can have higher attack speed. Or a higher power level, I mean, rather. Excuse me. So let's take a look at what we're working with here. Uh, the pickaxe. Oh, this does increase our attack speed. So I don't know if we want to trade that armor out. Pickaxe we're not going to want, though. I know that for sure. We do have some higher level daggers here. Smiting and fire aspect. I don't think either of those I want. Fire aspect fires off every time, but the thundering has a chance to, to chain to enemies. And chain lightning, I think, is super good. So I think we're going to stick with that. I don't think we're going to trade out for the, the new daggers. Moon daggers. Plus we get more souls from that, which is going to give us more heals. So, yep. Sorry, daggers. Not today. We do have potential new armor. Now, this gives us attack speed. This gives us a weapon damage boost aura, which would help allies if we were in a team, but I don't know if that's uh, something we're going to do on this playthrough. In fact, all of these armors have the weapon boost aura. The difference between... The only difference between them is that this one gives you a pet bat, and this one makes Hoshin's heal allies as well. So the only reason we sh I think we should be considering changing is if the enchants are especially good. And I'm looking through here. I don't think, I don't think they are particularly amazing. Uh, Recycler is pretty nice because it gives you uh, arrows when you get hit by projectiles. Every 30th, 20th, or 10th projectile you get hit with gives you a bundle of arrows. But we're not really doing an arrow build. Like, we use our crossbow, but only really a little bit. I don't think it's really that important right now. Yeah. So, the other one I was looking at is this one here. The potion barrier is super nice because we get to be invulnerable for 90 or for 9 seconds. Well, it's, you take 90% less damage, which is basically invulnerable, more or less. But, um... I get recyclers. So those two combined, those aren't bad. Uh, cowardice. We can get up to 40% increased range and melee damage when we're at full health. That that's a it seems good, but I'm honestly I'm just not at full health very often. It's pretty frequently that you get hit like at least once. This would increase maybe if we shot an arrow like initially before engaging a combat. That would do extra damage, but I don't think a whole enchant is worth one shot doing extra damage, you know. So, the only one I might consider here would be going to Deflect. Deflect is pretty good. I do like Deflect, but then we're going to be giving up the increased attack speed, which, honestly, I think is more important at this point than... than extra damage, because that's just going to proc our Thundering. So, I think, you know, all that to say, I think we're going to stick with what we've got. However, this crossbow... Ooh. I do prefer the crossbow we have over this, this fast one. It is a higher level, though. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to get rid of this, this, and this. We're actually going to hold on to these. We're going to hold on to these. So, let's equip this. Put this and put this here. And we're going to come buy some stuff really quick from this, this vendor. Oh, some kind of special hammer it looked like. Okay, well, let's equip these back on. Let's put this here. There we go. And now let's take a look at this new stuff that we got. We got some reinforced mail. I do very much like this stuff. Deflect comes on this. Ooh. Ooh, this might be what we go with, guys. This might be our move. Stormlander fires lightning bolts. Great splash. Oh. Oh, but the... Oh, man. The enchants aren't super good, it doesn't seem like. Although it does have double prospectors, so it might be something worth keeping and holding on to for now. Because I wonder if we can farm uh, emeralds later with this. That might be something we just hold on to. But let's look at this armor. 
So we've got health synergy and potion barrier. We get more melee damage, but reduced damage taken. Which seems okay, but I'm honestly a little more intrigued by this one, either for the deflector or the potion barrier. It's too bad we didn't get a couple. I don't want this one. The movement speed artifact cooldown. Ooh, I, that does sound okay. I don't think we're going to go with it, though. I really am between these two. And honestly, between these two, I'm really leaning more toward this one. Just because that 30% chance to negate hits is so nice. Because that just means when you get hit, like a creeper explodes on you, there's a 30% chance that that creeper will do literally zero damage. Which is just very, very, very good. And if we have the reduced damage and we've got the heal, I think deflect would be our best next move over the, the uh, potion barrier, honestly. Because potion barrier, although it'll make us invulnerable for 9 seconds... I don't think we're going to need that too much with 30% uh, negate damage and 35% reduce damage. I think deflect would be a better move because deflect, it, it saves us damage and it damages enemies. Because deflect, deflect makes it so that when enemies shoot an arrow at us, it bounces back at them and damages them. So we don't take damage from the arrow and they do. And that's super good, especially for the next place we're going, which is the, um, the, the fiery forge. So, yep, we're doing it. We're doing it. Salvage this bad boy. Ooh, I can't believe we did it. We're going to have a little bit slower attack speed, but I think it's a sacrifice that's worth it. We are going to hold on to these. Just so we can increase our power level when we go purchase new items. In fact, let's go ahead and do that again real quick. We might be able to get something else. Ah, uh, nope. Nah, we don't want that. I would much rather have our dagger. Scatter crossbow. 34 times 3. That actually seems pretty good. And this also has ricochet. It comes with more ammo. It also has ricochet. And in one shot, it has the potential to do more damage. So... Oh, excuse me, 79, 34, 90, 102. Yeah, that seems better than our current crossbow, so. We will make that change. Cool. Ah, we should have equipped this hammer when we did that. Oh, well, that is what it is. That's fine. Um, we can get rid of this now, too. Okay. Okay. And I do want to equip that. I do want to equip this. Okay. So now let's go ahead and spend our enchanting points. We've got nine to spend, so I can max one of these out. Let's go ahead and max out the deflect. And I'll put these three points into ricochet. Nice. I think that's a pretty good combo we got going on. Yeah, I think this will work pretty well, guys. But, um, yeah, that's going to be it for today's episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure you like the video if you liked it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Leave a comment if you have any suggestions or ideas or thoughts or opinions. But until the next time, you guys have been a pleasure as always. And I hope you do have just the best kind of day.